part of what I wanted to say I couldn't deliver I didn't know any way Hi there, welcome to the fan carpet. I'm Sophia Jessica. And I'm Corinna. And we are here today at the Gold Movie Awards, the fourth annual event. This is a very, very important night in film because it is celebrating all the best new films from around the world in independent cinema. It's a great place to be. We've got many celebrity guests and uh, many directors and actors that have come to support the event. And also, of course, all the nominees and creative people up for the award. We've seen some amazing people win tonight. And we're really, really keen to see what's going to happen after the awards ceremony where all these shining bright new stars will head to in their next venture. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> so I'm now joined by Fadi. So why was it important for you to attend such an awards ceremony like this tonight? Do you know what? Funnily enough, I don't think anyone knows, but I'm actually on the jury. So I've been watching the films and judging them. Um, and apparently my opinion matters. So yeah, that's why I've come and I feel like it's just, it's good for me to attend. I'm, I'm really, my career started from an independent film and I feel like what the Gold Movie Awards does is very important to just sort of give all filmmakers, young or old or, you know, from all walks of life to be able to have that opportunity and platform to just have an outreach worldwide and I feel like that's exactly what the Gold Movie Awards does, so. It must be quite humbling for you to come to something like this and think, wow, like you kind of compare yourself to where you might have started out and being in the boots of the people that are here tonight and seeing yourself now and thinking, wow, I'm now on the jury. I mean, that's quite quite an amazing movement for you. hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like when I, it probably hasn't sunk in yet. I remember when I got the email, I was like, are they sure they're the right person? Um, but yeah, no, it honestly is amazing to be a, a, even just asked to do it and acknowledged to have an opinion that matters um, for me meant a lot and I'm really happy to be here. So what advice would you give to the nominees this evening that may win tonight or may not? You know, what would you tell them to do um, after this evening? To just keep going, to just keep going. I've been in my career, been like early on in my career, I got nominated for two awards. I didn't win them, but for me, the nomination itself is a win. Um, to be acknowledged by people because that acknowledgement doesn't just come from one person that's just like, I want him. It's actually a a majority of people who have watched your work and acknowledged it and appreciate it enough to consider you for a nomination. So just the nomination itself is a win. Uh, if you don't win, just keep going. There's there's more awards. <laughs> so for you as an actor, what have you got coming up in the new year? Well, it's not the new year. Now it is the new year. Know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I've got, I've got um, I'm working on a series, hopefully, at, well, I start a series at the end of the year, at the end of the year, at the end of the month. Oh, wow, <laughs> so you can have a break for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah literally, um, but I've got two TV series coming out, one on Channel 4 and one on Sky 1, Sky Atlantic, and I've got a feature film coming out at the end of the year called Faith. Um, so uh, quite a few things coming out. Um, Tell us a little bit about what those series are about, what we can be expecting, what kind of character you're going to be playing. Um, so Faith is basically about um, a boy who finds himself through religion. I happen to be his best friend and I, I you know, make him ask the right questions for him to just explore and question himself and tap back into his religion. He was obviously raised a Christian. Um, a lot of stuff happens and he just finds himself in a situation where he converts to Islam and a lot of stuff that happens in the area sort of 
through that through him tapping into that religion actually changes his life and almost saves his life so that's really interesting i don't think there's any tv show that is out there like that right now so actually you're gonna be really you know pushing some boundaries and making people think about things which is very exciting thank you so much for talking to us this evening fadi and um, i can't wait to see the films and uh, best of luck with everything this year thank you, thank you very much thank you very much Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. For more next time. Bye. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.